Mental health. Mador came to Australia as a refugee three years ago. He was offered many services on his arrival. Mador was a teacher in his native country, and he wanted to be a teacher in Australia too. But he is still learning English. It is hard for him to get a job as a teacher. So he is feeling more and more unhappy. His life seems to get harder every day. One day, Hassan comes to visit. He is Mador's best friend. Mador, if you are not happy, you should go to see a doctor or a counselor. No, I feel ashamed. I don't want to talk about this. I think I am weak. Mador, my friend, you are not weak. You are sad. In Australia, about one in four people feel the same way as you do at some time. Don't worry. You can go and talk to a counselor at the health centre. They will help you get better. Mador phones the local community health centre. He asks to speak to the counselling intake service. Then he makes an appointment with the counsellor, Tom. Mador talks to Tom about his problems. He gives Tom permission to talk to his doctor, so that they can work together to help Mador. Mador sees Tom every few weeks for counselling, and also takes antidepressant medicine prescribed by his doctor. Now, Mador is feeling much better. He is enjoying his life again. Don't ignore your mental health. Mental health issues are serious issues. Always talk to your GP, counsellor, or community health nurse if you are unhappy most of the time, or if you are finding life hard. There are services and hospitals you can go to for help. And many of these services are free. If you are worried about someone's mental health, and you think they need help straight away, call your local hospital, talk to the psychiatric triage, or the CAT team. Ask for an interpreter if you need one. Pregnancy. Rita thinks she is pregnant. She goes to her GP to confirm her pregnancy. The GP does her urine test. This confirms she is pregnant. The doctor then sends her for a blood test. Rita comes back to the clinic after a few days to see her GP and get the results from her blood test. The GP tells her that the results of her blood test are good. She refers Rita to the hospital for her pregnancy care. The doctor. Will send the result of her blood test to the hospital too. Rita is referred to the public hospital, which is not very far from where she lives. After three weeks, she receives a letter from the hospital. It tells Rita the time and date of her first antenatal appointment with the midwife. A midwife is a professional who cares for women in pregnancy. During labour, and after the baby is born, the midwife asks Rita a lot of questions. She examines her. She tells Rita that there are no complications. This means that she is having a normal, healthy pregnancy. Rita will see a doctor at the next visit, and then be checked by midwives every four weeks. Until she gives birth, when Rita goes for her next appointment, the midwife checks her blood pressure and the size of the baby, 
and she also gives her the information about when and where to attend the antenatal classes. She goes to the antenatal class with her husband, where a midwife explains everything about having a baby and what happens at the hospital. Sometimes, the professionals at the hospital advise you to buy a lot of things for the baby. You have a choice to decide whether you want to buy these or not. But one thing you must buy is a baby capsule for the car. You must buy this before you have your baby. In Australia, you won't be allowed to bring your baby home from the hospital unless you have a baby capsule properly installed in your car. When Rita goes into labour, she calls the hospital and they tell her when to come in. Rita's husband drives her to the hospital. She has a healthy baby girl. In Australia, you do have a choice of your care before you have your baby. You can go to the public hospital where you will be seen by the doctors and midwives. You can choose to do shared care with your local doctor. This means you go to the doctor for your antenatal appointments. You must go for every antenatal checkup. In Australia, you must have a baby capsule safely installed in your car to bring a baby home from the hospital. Speak to your midwife, GP, community health nurse or maternal and child health nurse if you have any concerns after your baby is born. Ask for an interpreter if you need one. Specialist Rita has been suffering from breathing problems. She makes an appointment to go and see her doctor. A doctor is also called a GP. Her GP checks her lungs and asks her to blow into a small pump. The GP recommends that she goes to see a respiratory specialist. She says Rita must also have a chest x-ray. Her GP gives her a referral letter for the specialist and also a form for her chest x-ray. A referral letter is a letter from your GP to the specialist to tell them about your illness. The next day, Rita phones the outpatients clinic at the hospital. She makes an appointment with a respiratory specialist. Sometimes, the GP will need to send the referral to the hospital. Then, you will receive a letter in the mail with your appointment date and time. If you cannot make the appointment time, you need to ring the hospital to make another time. Do you have a referral letter? Yes. The receptionist makes an appointment for eight weeks later. Sometimes people have to wait a lot longer. The following day, Rita has her chest x-ray. She must take her x-ray to the specialist appointment. When she arrives for her appointment at the hospital, she is asked for her Medicare card and health care card and her referral letter. When she sees the specialist, he reads her referral letter, looks at her x-ray and examines her. He gives her a prescription for some medicine. He also gives her some breathing exercises to do. He asks her to come back in six months. 
Sometimes your GP will send you to a specialist for your illness. The GP must write a referral letter to the specialist. In Australia, you cannot see a specialist without your GP's referral letter. Some specialists work in private clinics and some work in community health centres and public hospitals. If you see a specialist in a private hospital or private clinic, you have to pay. Ask for an interpreter if you need one.